Welcome to our today's English lesson. Our topic shall be parts of speech and the subtopic nouns. I am your teacher, Lillian Mandela, from AKU IED. I hope you'll enjoy the lesson. It is my hope, therefore, that by the end of this lesson, you will be able to define a noun appropriately identify, exemplify, classify, and use nouns. To begin this session, I want you to define the term noun and share your definition with your neighbor. Thank you for taking part in that small activity. It is my hope that you have defined a noun as a word that names a person, for example, Maria, place, for example, park, thing, like a pen, an animal, like a cat, and lastly, an idea, like love. I want you to take a look at the following pictures and write the name of each item down. So the first picture is a shown. Identify the items. The second picture is there. Write down the name of that item. Number three, we have that beautiful item. Write down its name. And lastly, we have that item. What is it? I want to believe that you've been able to identify either shelves, books, or a library in the first photo. In the second photo, you should have identified the geometrical set. The third photo, a mask. And lastly, in the fourth photo, a microscope. All these four things are examples of nouns. We now have a look at types of nouns. And it is important for us to know that nouns are classified into categories for easy use and identification. So the first group of nouns is collective nouns, and these are names of groups of things. For example, a herd of elephant. Secondly, we have common nouns, and these are names used to refer to common people, for example, girl. And thirdly, we have concrete nouns, names of things that can be seen, touched, and felt, for example, pen. Fourthly, we have abstract nouns, names of things that we can either see nor touch, for example, anger. Fourthly, we have countable nouns, names of things that we can count, for example, an apple. And uncountable nouns, names of things that we cannot count. Lastly, we have proper nouns, which are specific names for a person, for example, Emily can have place, for example, London. Having looked at examples and types of nouns, let us now identify nouns and state their types in the following sentences. The first sentence, John is a bright student. Second sentence, I have lost my book and pen. Third, on Tuesday, Alex will travel to Canada. Fourth, Lions live in the jungle, and fifth, hard work and bravery leads to success. As we come to the end of the lesson, it is important for us to remind ourselves that nouns are naming words, and they name places, people, ideas, and things. Consequently, they are classified as common, concrete, abstract, countable, uncountable, proper, compound, or collective nouns. For easy remembrance, you can use this song. Nouns are naming words in English. Nouns are naming words in English. Common nouns, proper nouns, concrete and abstract nouns. Common nouns, proper nouns, concrete and abstract nouns. Till then, see you in the next session. It has been pleasure having you.